Okay. Outstanding. Yeah. All right. Um, as my man just mentioned, I went to school here, uh, graduated in 2005. I actually spent a lot of time in student government. I used to sleep inside the uh, office um, for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't really have a place to sleep, but I was focused. I wanted to finish school. So, um, you know, and I had you know, some troubles with the law. The reason why I'm here today is to encourage you guys to continue with your education and, you know, regardless, we can continue pushing forward. And uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I have a lot of my friends. Um, I grew up in Pompano. A lot of my friends and family are locked up right now. I have friends that are, you know, doing time. Even one of my brothers, you know, ranging from 20 to 100 years in prison because they can see themselves in a better place. And that was my motivation because I didn't want to be in their same footsteps. I didn't want to be in a situation to where I'd be in prison or follow the footsteps, you know, of, of my family. You know, my, my people are from Haiti. I was born here, born and raised actually. And uh, I just almost never amounted to anything. However, I believe in God, you know, and, and I knew there's a better place for me. And my life sort of resembles the life of Danny being in the, in the lion's den, just knowing that God was gonna protect me. You know, he was gonna allow me to finish school because I, you know, I, I tried so hard and you know, it, it was so crazy because I wanted to do so good, but I had so many negative things um, that I was facing. Um, as I mentioned, uh, and also one of the reasons why it was so tough for me in school was because of my mistakes. Now, how many of you guys made mistakes in life that uh, maybe recently, this week or last week? I'm talking about the type of mistakes that was, you know, could have cost you your life or you've been in a life-threatening situation. Anybody? <laughs> Good students. But thank God. So, so I'm assuming everyone here is, is, is law-abiding, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you count downloading free music. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so everyone's pretty much walking a straight line. That's good. Because, um, I mean... You guys in college right now, which is great. You're definitely in the right place. You know, one thing I liked about school is the fact that I felt safe. I mean, is it just me, or does everyone here you know, feel safe and feel safe? You don't have to worry about you know, uh, you know, people coming at you. You don't have to worry about the car getting repoed here on campus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, they put a boot on my car like the other day. Huh? They put a boot on my car like the other day. That's a boot. But they don't do that here for you, right? They don't. They don't. This was here. Repo people cars, do it. Oh. They'll tow it. 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 Yeah, they tow it, but they don't repossess it at the school. No. Right? No. All right. That's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's, there's many different things that you don't have to think about. You don't, you don't have to, you know, dwell on. You know what I'm saying? You guys are in a place of power. You know, one of the things I loved when I was at FAU, other than sleeping inside student government, I also spent a lot of time in the library because I felt it was a safe haven. Um, you know, I had a few warrants. Um, just in case anyone was wondering why I went to jail, I, had do, I did 12 months uh, for a robbery. It's robbery without Western, so you know, wasn't. But you know, I, I was in a tough situation. You know, I needed money. I dropped out of school, got caught up in the game. You know, I'm not a game banger, nothing like that. I've never been. But you know, I, I've done a couple of bad things that you know I regret. But um, you know, I, I've been redeemed. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that you know I enjoy, like I mentioned about the library, is like I always felt powerful in the library. I always felt as if the more books I was around, the more knowledge I can gain. You know, like my ancestors and. Uh, in Haiti, like Tucson. I know you guys know the history of Tucson here, right? Mm -hmm. I read that he actually read a book about a slave rebellion, and that was, you know, what caused him to want to start the revolution. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Because of a book. There's, there's power in those words, you know what I'm saying, you guys are reading. I know there's many different, you know, majors in here. Anybody here aspiring to be lawyer? Or, or how many lawyers? Yeah? There should be more of you in there because these laws are what keeps our people down. I know you guys don't like the wet foot, dry foot policy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to become a lawyer. One reason why I didn't was because of my record. And so I knew it was going to be an uphill battle. So what I decided to do was start a promotion company where I was promoting clubs, getting artists from around the country. 
to come down to Florida, South Florida, and different clubs and things like that. Then I started a marketing company. But I wanted to help change the laws, but I couldn't do it. Because, well, unless I say I couldn't do it, I decided not to pursue that because I wanted to approach you know, changing the laws in a different way. So now I join different political campaigns. I help behind the scenes. Um, as a profession, I help other than, you know, I stopped doing the club thing, but now what I do is I do marketing online. I do internet marketing. I help websites get traffic. You know what I'm saying? Any marketing uh, executives, future marketing executives here, CEOs, they're one. What, what, what do you want to market? Oh, me? I have my own little online business. You do? What kind? Uh, I sell, basically I have an online company and I sell uh, game currency for actual currency. Game currency for actual currency? Wow, what's your website called? Uh, RSI Express, and we have an LLC for that, and we also have one for Aids to Success, me and my cousin. Okay. He's not, I'm 19, he's 20, so we help older people, richer people do what they gotta do. They gotta get their car service, we call them so company for them that they're too busy to do that. Stuff like that. Awesome, that's my impression. Wow. All right. yeah. So I hope everyone gets his website to help, help support him. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time you guys heard about his business? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, maybe you can change some of your, your rules and you know, help support other businesses. Yeah, That's outstanding. I wish I was on his level when I was 1920, but I wasn't. You know, so um, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, other than the book, my book you mentioned, which deals with um, the courage to believe, um, dealing with my trials, tribulations, and my philosophies on life. So, what I do now, I go to different schools and organizations, nonprofits. I speak to the teens, um, the young adults, um, about you know different the different things that they may be facing. And um, you know, my book isn't out yet, but it will be out next month. You know, the pre-orders, and it's going to be officially published on December 12th, my mother's birthday. No. <laughs> yeah, you know, I owe a lot to my mom. You know, because she was one of the people that was in my corner. Other than my mother. There's a woman that used to work with called Miss Bird. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys were here around that time. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> but uh, Miss Bird was a lady that, you know, she, she saw me here one day, and I was high. I used to have dreads, believe it or not. I know you guys see me dressed up, looking fresh and fly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't always like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I didn't really care about my parents. The only one thing I never really did was, you know, drag my pants with my butt showing. I never was into that, you know what I'm saying? I hope no one there. Mm -hmm. into that as well. But um, Ms. Bird saw me one day, she saw my eyes red, and I guess she smelled the weed on my clothes, and she, you know, she, she reached out to speak to me. You know, as busy as she was, because she's in charge of the, uh, I think they still have it, the Multicultural um, yes. Center? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Someone in, in here works there? Yeah. yeah. Who, who's in charge now? What's your name? Say it again? I think I look, I think I sent you an email once. <laughs> <laughs> very recently, um, but uh, you know she worked there. You know she put me to her office, spoke to me, and uh, you know because she cared. You know, and that's one thing that she taught me was, was that no matter how busy you are, or how successful you may think you may be, how many millions I may have, or billions, billions or, or trillions I may get one day in the future, because I believe that. If God can get it to you, mm. you no. Know, if God can get it through you, He'll get it to you. Mm. So I believe in you know doing community service and helping out others, and that's what Miss Bird did, you know, did for me years ago. Because if she didn't step in at that time, I probably would have still been you know running out there acting crazy. But you know, I wanted to go to school. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt safe. You know, I knew I can do something. And when she made me realize, if, if, if you don't shape up, all those dreams you had of helping your your family, helping your people in Haiti. All that is going to be diminished. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's going to go away just like that. So, um, but anyway, that's all I really want to say. And I thank you for your time. And I really do enjoy the, you know, the organization you guys have here. You know, actually, I, I was at Comic Creole years ago as well. So, uh, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> but I see they changed the room a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Am I right or wrong? Am I? We don't know. Right. It seems a little different for some reason. I, I, know, I know these lights wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, you know, I thank you.